Hi, it's Adam back from the Rubik's Cube, and today I have a tier list video. Now, uh, tier lists have been making their rounds around YouTube. Uh, a lot of people have been having a lot of fun making serious and joke tier list videos, and I thought, I want to try my hand at one of these tier lists. Now, I know there's a lot of potential with jokes here, but I wanted to take a serious look at some of the cubing hardware that we use, the most relevant hardware, and and see how they rank. Now, I won't be taking a look at 3x3 speed cubes specifically. I thought I'd branch out a little bit more and just include all of the relevant hardware that has come out recently. So, when I say recently, I mean, you know, within the past few months, and stuff that's either that or stuff that's currently used by a lot of people as like mains or, or, or used a lot just in general. So um, let's take a look at my list down here. So as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, very recognizable puzzles down here. So we're going to take the time to sort of list them out. Starting out here, we have arguably the uh, the most important event. We have Skube. Uh, only one uh, comes to my mind as something that's, uh, you know, really relevant. And that's the uh, Little Magic, uh, Yushin Little Magic Skube. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that in the uh, Little Magic tier. Over here, we have a uh, very recent puzzle, the Diane Hydrangea. Now, of course, Hydrangea is uh, a name of a flower. So this puzzle is named after a flower. You can sort of see why. It's got those like four petals on it. Flowers are only used for funerals and landscapers, and both of those things make me very sad. So F tier. Over here, of course, we have the uh, MF8 plus Diane Tetrahedron Mars. So that's going to go right down here in the Mars category. Hedron. Is that a word? I. Why am I at Science Direct? Anyway, um, speaking of planets, Yushin Two by Two Earth. Now, I would really love this puzzle if it was a little bit more to scale. Now, I really love the added detail of showing the depth of the oceans. I just don't understand why North America is so weirdly shaped. Oh, never mind, that's just Asia sideways. Next up, we have the uh, the Z Sandwich Cube, something a lot of people have been talking about recently. Um, I think this is a fantastic idea, and I'm a huge fan of sandwiches. It starts off great. We have a red layer at the bottom there, red meaning meat, of course, and I love meat on my sandwiches. Then what concerns me is the yellow layer. Now, this could easily be cheese, American cheese, and that would be fantastic. I love American cheese. That's some roast beef. That's a great sandwich, but it could just as easily be mustard. We really don't know, and Z-Cube doesn't really specify for us whether or not that's cheese or mustard. Now, what really does it in for me is that top layer, blue. Who puts water on their sandwich? I don't understand. And where is the bread? F tier. Uh, little Magic Pyramids, Little Magic 3x3, uh, Little Magic 6x6. Ah, here we go. A great 3x3 that was on everybody's minds when it was released, the um, San Juan Mars. Now, of course, we're going to pair this up with something that's very uh, reminiscent of it, another planet cube. The uh, You shouldn't... Just kidding. It goes in the Mars tier. I don't even know the names of my own puzzles that I'm looking up. Next, of course, we have the uh, infamous Le Fun Dart. A vital part to anybody's collection, of course. My only thing is that it's really just an extended little pie, and, um, you know, those things, it's just a little pie. If it was just a little pie, I mean, obviously that's an S tier, but we're going to stick it here in the B tier for now. Now we have something that's become very relevant recently with the release of new hardware. I'm talking, of course, of the Square One. Um, now the Square One's going to go really up top here. This particular brand is the, uh, the Yushin Square One. Uh, the full name being Yushin Little Magic Square One. Now, of course, no list of relevant hardware would be complete without an MF8 plus Dion Crazy Megaminx Mars. So that's going to go in the Mars tier. Now, if we were talking about, you know, all puzzles, I would have clearly the Z-Lock Lubin 3x3, um, the Z-Lock Puzzle 1, Puzzle 2, Puzzle 3, but... Well, we're really talking about recent relevant releases, and for that reason, I, I left out everything except for the, uh, the Z Loop and Lock Puzzle 4. It's not quite as round as the third one. You know, they just kept getting rounder and rounder, and then the third one was a sphere, and I was like, how much rounder can you really go? The answer is, you can't go rounder. And, and for that reason, I'm going to have to put it um, in the D tier. Now, we've covered uh, tetrahedrons, and 
I know as soon as I put that down in the Mars tier, you guys were screaming, Adam, what about the octahedron? What about the pentahedron? Well, no worries. Here we have the, uh, the Diane plus MF8 uh, octahedron Mars, and that's going to go right here, along with the Diane plus MF8 um, pentahedron Mars. We truly have been blessed in the Cuban community with the Diane plus MF8 uh, company partnership. Mars, Mars cubes are great, and also they're very low tier at the same time. They're awful. The cube for you. Gas-assisted 3x3. This is the stuff of legends. Immediate S tier. Gas is everywhere. At the time of the explosion and the birth of the universe, cube for you traveled all the way to the epicenter of the Big Bang and collected gas in order to make their legendary 3x3. This is the universal cube. This is the legendary puzzle. This is the cube for you, gas-assisted 3x3. Now, you might be asking, it uses gas. What does the gas do? And the answer is, nobody has any clue what gas-assisted means. <laughs> now, of course, no list of relevant puzzles would be complete if we don't have the uh, very puzzle 7-star UFO. The 7-star UFO really is a horrible, horrible puzzle. It belongs all the way at the bottom. Now, that's, of course, if we would be talking about the V1. This, of course, is the very puzzle 7-star UFO V2, which is an amazing, amazing twisty puzzle that belongs straight up to A tier. Very close to S, almost. Now, um, what is this? I honestly don't know what cube that is. Let's uh, zoom in and enhance. What logo is that? That almost looks like a... Uh, Yushin logo, that's right. This is the Little Magic Yushin 5x5, belonging in the Little Magic tier. Now, I, I know what you guys are thinking. Adam, I know where you're going with this one. This is a Bermuda cube. You're going to say, oh, you know, uh, Diane plus MF8, Bermuda cube plus crazy edition, whatever. It goes in the Mars category. But actually, this planetary cube is the, uh, the Saturn. Really, I think it's been more... Um, more relevant than the Mars. Just kidding. It's the Mars. It's going in the Mars tier. Now, there are a lot of puzzles here in the little magic category, um, but there is a clear top of the little magic hierarchy. I'm, I'm talking, of course, of the little magic Megaminx. If you do a little bit of quick research, search up little magic Megaminx and come down here, it says lighter. That's right. The Little Magic Megamix is not only the clear best Megamix on the market, it also functions as a lighter. Now, I don't have the puzzle myself, so I don't really know where the fire comes out of, but I'm guessing it comes out of these Florian cuts right near the center cap. And um, so it's, it's, it's very useful for soldering pipes and stuff like that. And of course, the cube, the myth, the legend. I'm talking of course of the iCube. I mean, just look at it in all of its glory. It's super elongated for some reason. <coughs> I don't know why the cube <coughs> is so long. This sticker extends beyond this corner piece for some reason, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, that's my uh, relevant puzzles tier list. Now, of course, this is just my own opinion. So therefore, it is a uh, cemented fact that these tier lists are correct. So if you have another opinion, um, you are basically incorrect. And uh, please do not share it below. I'll tell you what you could do with your opinion. Go outside, bring a shovel, dig a very, 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 very deep hole, stick your opinion down there, and cover it back up. Nobody wants to hear your opinion. I don't care. These rankings are